Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Josh Thomas here from the BitBlock. Welcome to another discussion video where we will be chatting about Nintendo's latest news through their Nintendo Direct, which just happened a couple days ago. I'm joined by Roger's Base. What's going on, everybody? Nice to be back, as usual. And also Mike from Japan Time. Hi. And today we are talking about a topic that Roger is so passionate about. Oh Mario Party 10, and you, well, you might you might want to talk about the new Amiibos, guys. Right? Hey, the Roger? new Amiibos do look kind of cool, but you know, you, you go on your Mario right, Party 10 guys, first. Guys, brace yourself, buckle your seatbelt, because we're going from 0 to 60 miles per hour instantly. Mario Party 10? How about Crappy Party 10? Why in the world are they bringing back the vehicle? Nobody liked that. And at E3, I was telling people, like, this is bad, blah, 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 and people would respond to me and be like, Josh, you're so negative, it's going to be classic Mario Party um, unless 2009 is classic, or no, wait, it was 2012, wasn't it? Mario Party 9 was 2012. So unless I honestly you're... have not played a Mario Party since N64, so I could right. not tell. Well, it's not classic Mario Party. So here's the game board. Here's the modes you can play in this game, right? It's Amiibo Party. We'll get to that in a little bit. I actually kind of like that, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. There is Bowser Party. I don't know. Maybe I'll play that once or twice and think it's funny, but I'm not going to, like, play that on a regular basis because I'm not going to have a ton of people constantly around for that. And then there is Mario Party. That sounds fun, right? Wrong. Mario Party is exactly what Mario Party 9 was. You're all in a vehicle, rolling together in, in, in extremely linear game boards by the look of it. Like, there's not the whole go off in different routes and set traps with orbs and items and, and do different things. It is the same thing that Mario Party 9 was. Ugh. There you go. You just, you just, I'm going to take that sound bit, and at the end of the review for Mario Party 10 on the bit block, I'm going to play that. That's how my review is going to so, end. It's so weird, too, because, like, isn't this the same team that makes the Wii Party games? Yes, and, and Wii they do Party good. Is so much fun. I love Wii Party. Right. So why do they mess up when it comes to Mario Party? Oh. You know, I don't know. I loved Mario Party all... I was one of the... I stood by it for a long time. Mario Party 8, I liked all the way up until Mario Party 8. Then Mario Party 9 came out, and, oh, it broke everything that made the series fun. Like, you, there's, the strategy was gone. The individuality of what you want to do on the game boards is gone. The mini games were kind of bland and generic. And that's the other thing. The art style for Mario Party 10 is very generic New Super Mario Brothers style. Like, it yeah. looks like it came out of a New Super Mario Brothers game. Of all like, the, the Mario games. the Amiibos, too. I mean, I don't want to, like, go all the way off to the Amiibo tangent yet, but, like, the Amiibos look like that, too. Like, I am not going to buy any of those Amiibos. Like, the Luigi Smash Brothers Amiibo... Mario Smash Bros. Amiibo, Peach Smash Bros. Amiibo, they all have more character than these Amiibos. I don't know who's going to want to buy these instead of those. I the, really don't. Well, the thing that I like about them more than some of the Smash Amiibos is these do not have the annoying extra bits of plastic to hold them up. Yeah. Right, but like, I'd much rather have Luigi with the annoying bit of plastic doing a weird, awkward planking thing. And Peach, you don't even notice the weird bit of plastic on her Amiibo. You do if you look up her dress. What, are you going to be looking up your toy's dress? Moving on. Anyways. <laughs> I don't have a peach amiibo, all right? So don't judge me. So we've got, uh, I mean, Mario Party 10. I, I, you know what? I want to like it, guys. I do. But it's so hard. They're messing up. And I, and I thought it was like 80% of the people who played Mario Party 9 were like, whoa, no. Thanks for trying a new idea, but this sucks. We don't like it. So why would they do the same thing once again? It's not even optional. Like, when Mario Party 6 and Mario Party 7 made that stupid microphone thing, at least it was just a little optional thing. You didn't have to use it. It yeah. didn't, like, change the core gameplay. This is like, no, you're staying in this vehicle altogether. Ah, ah, ah. I'm going to say something that, that I'm probably going to regret saying the second I say it. So, then you but have you know to say it. I would rather play? I would rather play Smash Tour. <laughs> I really would. That, well, yeah, because Smash Tour is great, buddy. It's better than this piece of garbage. <laughs> so listen, there is also a new... Now, I'm not going to totally bash Mario Party just for the... I'm not doing this because I want to. Believe me, people think I'm just trying to be a jerk and negative. I love Mario Party as a series. Like, I don't want to not like this game, but... Yeah. Ugh. But I will say, the Amiibo Party looks like it could kind of be cute and cool. It reminded me of Smash Tour a bit, where it's like a one board that you see at all times. Mm. But it kind of reminded me of the uh, costume board from We Party You. Oh yeah, maybe yeah. Oh yeah, it does a little yeah yeah. So what's cool about it though is this mode is in case people don't know when you buy the I don't know can you use the Smash Brothers amiibo for this? Yeah. 
Okay, so uh, if you use a, a, a Smash Brothers or one of the new figures of Luigi, Peach, Mario, there's nine of them. Okay, nine basic Mario characters. Rosalina is one of them. Wario is one of them from Smash Brothers. Donkey Kong's playable again. There you go. But when it's you the use first one time of the in thirteen years, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they took him out. It made no sense. It's just a weird little thing they got into. But when you use an amiibo, when you scan it for the amiibo party, you then get to play on a board that is themed around that character. So Luigi's has like a haunted Luigi's Mansion vibe to it. Mario's is just kind of super generic Mario. Bowser's is in like a castle. Rosalina's will probably be in space. One of the things that I thought they were doing with this based on the artwork, but apparently they're not doing, is I thought you could like mix and match them to create your own little custom board, which is like a pie. Because it looks like it's in sections, you know? Like yeah. if, if you've seen the artwork, they show it like a, the game board is like broken up into four sections. And I thought that meant that you could be like, you know what? I'm going to mix and match this. I'm going to make my own custom game board where it's a little bit of Mario, a little bit of Rosalina. And then in the bottom left corner will be the Bowser section. And that's going to be where like things are really hard. But that that's not really the case. That sounds really cool, actually. Right. That's what I, I want that to happen now. I thought like that's what it was. But apparently that is so not what it is. And that would have been amazing. That is that not what it is? No, that's uh, that. From what I've heard, that's not what it is. And I talked to somebody who played a demo of it recently at the event. So it's apparently just really? you scan you scan the amiibo, and then you get a game board that has little uh, action spaces that are themed around that character. That's disappointing. Yeah, I know. I, know. I hype myself up for something that doesn't exist. But I don't know. I mean, I still think that's some of the best amiibo support we've seen. I yeah, like it's it. it's like classic Mario Party objective too. It's twenty coins get a star. Yeah, so there you go. That's that. I mean, that might be the mode that I actually end up really enjoying more than anything else. But I'm holding out an idiot's hope for Mario Party Ten. I want it to be good. We'll see. Did I'm they not... say how many video games are going to be in it? I think there's like eighty, right? There's seventy seven, mini games. More yeah. than seventy. Yeah, seventy. I think. So, and they look like they're hit or miss. Some of them look like they could be cool. Some of them look like they're kind of. But that's always been the same with every game in the series. You know, but like for me, I'd never remember boring mini games in any of the N sixty four ones, and that like That's I, true. I, when I said I haven't, when I said I haven't played since the N sixty four, I mean I haven't owned one since N sixty four. And so in you've fact, played I did the game own game. Mario Party when I had Wii. You know what I owned? I owned Mario Party two on Virtual Console, <laughs> but I never owned a Mario Party past the first three, um, just because I played them in other parties, like real parties, and I just did not have fun playing them. Okay. But well, the original you, three, I thought all the mini games were interesting. They're classic, like the one where they're rolling on the ball on the Snow Peak Hill, and then everyone rolls off. I love that one. I love the one where they're jumping on the logs. There's a bunch of funny ones, but on the recent games, I can't even think of like one mini game that's memorable. See, I can, but I, I'm obsessed with the series. So. Right, exactly, right, yeah, yeah. But so let's move on to also talking about some of the support that we learned about Amiibo in this Nintendo Direct. So there, there, there are three games we're going to focus on. Captain Toad, Kirby's uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, and Codename Steam. So we talked a little bit about Codename Steam already in the Fire Emblem discussion, uh, right. which, which basically allows you to play as Fire Emblem characters in Codename Steam. Which is cool, but the art style looks very strange for those characters. Lucina has like a weird face now. Robin, <laughs> people were making jokes on NeoGAF about how he looked. Marth looks, I guess, decent, but Ike looks cool. Ike looks like he belongs there, so... That's Does, do they look more like American comic book style? Yeah, yeah. And that doesn't work for the characters? Not really. Not for the Fire Emblem characters, no. Am I, I actually, do, I actually now? legitimately really like the art style of Codename Steam, though. Mm-hmm. And I do think it's going to be fun. Um, you know, but I, with, with the Fire Emblem characters, it just looks strange. But, I mean, I'm happy they're implementing them because then that means the Fire Emblem amiibos aren't just pointless. Right. I mean, that's good support. That, I'd say that is good amiibo support. Mm-hmm. I agree. So. Uh, when I know, first saw them, I thought they were going to be like costumes, and they they're actually like fully fledged characters that you can uh-huh. play as. And they have full voices, and they have like all their special moves from the games, and they die like how they would die in Fire Emblem, where you can only use them once, and then you know you'd have to use a different amiibo later on. It sounds really cool. I love it. Can we talk about how strange it is that Fire Emblem characters are in the same video game as Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> it seems really <laughs> that's, weird. That's to my me. dream, man. It's always been my dream to see Robin. The boy wonder from Hogwarts, as Josh calls him, yep. in the same name with Abraham Lincoln. It's, the it's been my turn. <laughs> Let's talk about some bad amiibo support, shall we, Roger? Please do. Hey, remember when we were all bright hot? We were all bright eyed and young and hopeful about Captain Toad Treasure Tracker's amiibo support, and we were like, and how we talked about how maybe you're going to get special little maps oh, designated yeah. to the characters. And remember, we were like, maps, little Clockwork Ridleys, yeah. not happening. 
remember we thought like, hey, it's got to be like, you know, a Legend of Zelda puzzle because the game started out as Zelda. Guess what? We talked about how it was already in Mario Galaxy 2 where you had the puzzles with Link. Yeah. And they already had Mario uh, Zelda level crossover and 3D land. Well, guess what, Roger? We were idiots. No! We were wrong. Because guess what? Captain Toad's uh, Amiibo support, which doesn't arrive until like March 5th, by the way. So, yeah, wow. Uh, it's a, it's, you find a little pixelated sprite of Captain Toad in a puzzle. And that's, uh, it. It's so boring. It is the, the dumbest Amiibo support I've seen so far. <laughs> they already did that with the Luigi sprites too. Right, like, there's right, a Luigi right, sprite right. at every level. Right. You could do it already. I mean, and they're maybe... the same levels. They're not new levels. They just added. New oh yeah. No, it's the I... same level when you, so I think you have to, I think you literally have to scan the damn Toad thing before picking every single level too, by the way. Like, I don't disgusting. think it's a single scan and then it puts them in all levels. I, th- from the way they worded it, it sounds like before you pick a level, you scan the Toad thing, the Toad Amiibo, and then you load that level and it'll be put in the level and you have to keep doing that. I could be wrong, but they definitely worded it that way. That, that just sounds horrendous and I'm sorry. <laughs> and what happens when you find it? Do you like touch him with your finger and you get some sort of reward or is it yeah, just like... Yeah, it, it looks that way because like on the little icon it had like a little Mario glove pointing at the Toad Sprite. Okay. So I'm assuming you touch it and then so, you find it. I don't know. What do you get for it? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, exactly. It. Pretty much it. Oh, man. And that team was so creative with the main game. They did such a great job. I, I, I was so betting that they were going to wow us. Yeah. <laughs> That's so dumb. Unbelievable. It's almost so dumb and lousy that it's my favorite Amiibo support. <laughs> <laughs> Just for how awful. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, the other game that we learned about Amiibo support in, but we already actually knew from Japanese trailers, is uh, Kirby yep. and the Rainbow Curse. Um, you can scan the Kirby, uh, Waddle Dee, no, not Waddle Dee, King DDD, and uh, Meta Knight Amiibos, and you will get power-ups in the game based on those. And you can only scan each one one time a day? Yeah, once a day. Yeah. Or is it just one Amiibo scan a day? I think it's once a day, because we just talked about this on our uh, Amiibo discussion. Okay. Not so, you and me. Me and Mike, we just did. Okay. So Kirby yeah. gives you what? Like some sort of a star a ability. S- a star dash. So in the game, when you collect 100 stars, you get this like star dash, and it lets you like break through giant blocks and kill enemies and everything. Okay. So this gives you unlimited star dash for a level. Okay. And then King DDD gives you more health? Yep. Yep. Is that it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Meta Knight gives you... Uh, you get a faster dash and it can kill weaker em- enemies. Okay. So the okay. So amiibo support in this game is pretty lousy. <laughs> can we be can we be honest? <laughs> it's my yeah. favorite amiibo support. I get more health when I scan in King DDD. Best amiibo support of all time. Yeah, it seems like there's definitely some teams that are like, what? Oh, we got to do Amiibo support. That's right. I don't know. More health. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, I, it's, I, it's it might be like uh, Mario Kart 8 to where I don't even bother getting up to scan the damn figure for what it gives me. You didn't scan any of the ones in the Mario Kart? Because I, I like my little Peach outfit. What? I like playing as Shofu in Mario Kart and like going online and playing as Shofu and I then peach. being in the little pink racer outfit. That's fun. <laughs> I've scanned some of them, but there's still some that I have to scan, and it's just, uh, I think Captain, uh, Captain Falcon I might need to scan. Not sure. It's one of, it's, I'm not going to be rushing to scan it, let's put it that way. Right. But uh, that is Mario Party 10. Please, I'm hoping a miracle happens, and I love this game, but I don't know. Oh, man. I'm going to personally take a trip to NBQ. wonders, miracle of miracles, give me a game that doesn't suck. <laughs> We're taking a trip to ND Cube, and I'm going to lecture them about this stupid vehicle. There you go. And all the new Super Mario Brothers influences that they're putting into this game. I'm going to, I'm going to let them know that we don't like new Super Mario Brothers, actually. Nobody does. Nobody! Nobody, Nobody does! All right, guys, thanks for talking with me. <laughs>